Welcome, welcome everybody to the B Shine. No doubt. Shout out to B Shine. My name is Brian from the B Shine. And today I have a special guest that came down all the way from Queens, New York to Philadelphia. Jamaica, Queens, baby. And we are in front of the art museum right now. But let me introduce to you Heck Tech from Queens. Heck to the tech to the get that check, baby. What's up, man? How you doing Y'all know today? me. I'm doing good, man. How you doing, man? Everything gravy? Everything's good, man. Chilling. Good. Finally got a nice day out here in Philadelphia. Yo, We're- I can't believe it. It was supposed to rain out today. You know what I mean? But since it's bee shine we're, we're going to keep it shining, right? We are outside. Yeah, baby. You have um, uh, a lot of different things that you get involved with from music to... Um, you do these videos where you're telling your stories, street no stories, True. you tell jail stories, all of that. How Facts. would you really describe kind of, how would you describe who is Hectech? Tech? Heck Tech is a, um, a dude that um, from Queens, New York, that was always hustling. Never stopped hustling, you know what I mean? I got cousins that always call me to throw them a bone, you know what I mean? Um, hook them up with this, hook them up with that. I never called anybody for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Never asked nobody for no money, nothing like that. I always got it on my own. I'm a hustler. I get it on my own, and that's just that's just the way I am, you know what I mean? Musician? I mean, I've been a hip-hop lover, a music lover all my life. Mm-hmm. I grew up loving um, heavy metal, thrash metal. Uh, freestyle, hip hop, all so, types of music. So, what were some of the first hip hop influences that really kind of struck a chord with you? First ones I gotta say was uh, uh um Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang was really. But um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, um, I loved Run DMC. You know what I'm saying? Like, what really caught my attention to the culture, to the art, was really Wu Tang. The way they did it, you know what I mean. But of course, uh, Fat Joe, uh, Big Pun, of course Nas, you know what I mean. You know all the greats. Mm-hmm. And you started, you started around that time that you started hearing them, or when did you? Start no writing? way, I was a baby around that time. <laughs> um, I started, I started around like like 2000, 2010. MySpace was around. Yep. MySpace around those times. I started I started to put my music up and um I didn't really know how to uh how to put it out like 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 how to get paid for it like distribute it and plus and plus it was like I recorded I recorded from my from like my 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 own crib like with the CD burner and the mic you know and the and the Triton and the train you yeah. know that's how I started off you know what I mean you know, I started off. I started off creating my own beats. They were, they wasn't all that. You know <laughs> what I mean? They wasn't all that. Uh-huh. I started to sample stuff off a TV. I was just, I would just put the mic up to yep. a TV. Yep. Like that. Boom, just and just uh, you know, I put it in the music and um, yeah, that's 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 how that's how the music started though. That's cool, man. So. Um, you said Brooklyn and Queens. Where did you spend most of your times? Queens, of course. But um, my a lot of my family, a, a, a lot of my family's from Brooklyn, Flatbush, uh-huh. what Coney part of, Island. What um, part of Queens? Uh, Jamaica, Queens, okay. Queens Village, that whole area. That's where I'm from. Um, you know, that's where I was born in. Well, I was born, I was born in a New York hospital in Flushing, but I was raised in a Jamaica, Hollis, Queens. In Queens Village all my life, you know what I'm saying? But of course I would I would always um go to Brooklyn, you know, and um and I would uh crash with my cousins because my cousins are all from Brooklyn. Mm-hmm. So so I would stay there too and I would like chill in the projects, run around the projects with them, hang out with them and I would grow up there too. Yeah. I would go to uh, Blimpies and um in Brooklyn. You know, that's where that's where that's where I fell in love with the Blimpy sandwich in Brooklyn. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That, that was the best. You know what I mean? So what what got you to the point where you are now? Where I've seen you with these music videos. You got Necro in them. You got Mr. Hyde. You got Thurston Howell. 
um, you know, now you're kind of rocking with like some of the some of the legends in uh, you know out of New York hip hop. But what led you, or, or what got you to this point? You know, what was that kind of uh, trajectory path for you? Um, once you started, you know, you were making beats, so they weren't that good, but eventually they had to have gotten better, and your rhymes and everything. Yeah, well, um, I saw I saw a lot of my people's um, um, quitting. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my people that 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 started this with me. You know what I'm saying? They started to either they um they were like 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 um go to jail, get locked up. Um, some would pass away. Some would um turn it turn 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 into religion. You know what I'm saying, and I just I just kept going at it. I just kept going at it, and I started to reach out to artists. You know what I'm saying. I started to reach out to artists, and um and um you know, I mean we just we started to um create a bond. You know what I mean, a good bond. You know what I mean. Um, being that I'm such a hip hop fan, you know what I mean. Being that I love the music so much and I know it's so good. When I reach out to them, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like it's like we brothers. Boom. So I reached out to them and um we just ended up working together like you know it was just boom instantly. I sent them a dope beat and um boom. They were, they were instantly jump on it, you know what I mean? So what's the what's the ultimate goal as far as music goes? You know, is this something that you just it's just you're always going to do it because you love it, or is there a specific goal that you have in mind that you want to reach a certain point? I mean, I mean, I'm, 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 yo, I make, I make money off of music. You know what I'm saying? I make money off of music. So, so it's not like, it's not like I don't make, I, I, it's just a hobby for me. You know what I'm saying? I actually make money off of music. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep making dope music because, um, what we're doing right now, it leaves a mark for the future. Yeah. You know, our future kids, the kids growing up, our future seeds, you know what I'm saying? They're going to see you. They're going to see what you're creating. I, I ain't stopping no time soon. Okay. And on top of that, y'all got to check who I'm working with next. So you my next album is going to be incredible. You know what I mean? I got some big dogs on my next album. Death of a Critic Coming out in October It's crazy man It's crazy the features I got You know what I'm saying I'm working with uh, I'm Not only legends But I'm I'm working with With With, with, with uh, uh, Mainstream artists too So So it's not It's nothing to be playing around with You know what I'm saying That's Word dope up. man So this is kind of like your You know your livelihood But you also see it as You're creating kind of like Time capsules Exactly. Like a song could represent like where you were at a specific point in time or the, you know, the what what society was like at that current time Facts. based on what you're talking about in the song. Yeah, and and like I don't only I don't only like 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 stay in New York and like 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 I got that video called New York Gangsters. Everybody go check it out. Heck tech New York Gangsters, but but I love doing music everywhere. Like uh like I went to Cali I shot a video out there. Who's your favorite artist from Queens, hip hop? From Queens, my favorite artist from Queens. Um, I gotta say, um, Mob Deep mm. and Nas. It gotta be Nas, you know what I mean, all day. Uh huh. Favorite album by Nas. Favorite album by Nas gotta be Illmatic. I feel like mm -hmm. that's the only answer. And yeah, anyone has to give that answer. That's the best. I mean, I still bump it to this day. I mean, I like all his other albums. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But Illmatic, like, I, like I'll go in the car right now. We we could bump it on the way back and like, still you know good. what I'm saying? Still good. What about some yeah. of the newer artists today? Because if you're making music now, you gotta at least be in tune with kind of what's going on. Are there some younger artists that you really really like? I like Polo G. You know what I'm saying? I like Polo G. Mm -hmm. I'm about to do something with Polo G. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, I like um, A Boogie, A Boogie from the BX. Yep. A Boogie, he dope. Um, you know, I like a lot. A lot of these. Um, Lil Reese. Lil Reese got a lot of dope joints. I like Lil Reese. Uh -huh. Conway, Benny the Butcher. Yes. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we didn't talk about uh, shout out yeah. Griselda. Yeah, Griselda. You know what I'm saying? These dudes, these dudes are amazing to me, and like, you know what I mean? Shout out, shout out to Eminem for putting them on, and uh, you know what I mean? Word up, like, if he wouldn't have put them on, then you know what I'm saying? I think, I think the cult, the culture would have been really messed up right now because at least, at, at least now we have a balance. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got the younger artists doing their thing and the older artists doing their thing too. You know what I mean? I'm in the middle. I'm a young, yeah. old artist. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not young. I'm not old. You know what I mean? Well, I'm kind of young, but not old. But you know what I mean? You know, what really keeps you, like, grinding hard um, instead of just kind of doing it for a while and be like, you know, I need a break, but, like, you keep going. What is that motivation attributed to? The love for hip-hop. The love for music. It's just in you. Yeah, it's just inside. I Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The love. I mean, just, just watch... Watch that Ricky Powell documentary. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I advise everybody to go watch that on Amazon or on Hulu. That that inspired me too. You know what I mean? To keep it pushed and keep it moving. Because before he passed away, he reinvented himself. You know what I mean? That was dope what he did. Let's go watch that because, because that's inspiration. And I met him too. I met him too. Before he passed away I didn't even know his history I met him at um, a radio show He went on He went on before me He went on before me He went on the radio show before me And then like like after the radio show I met him outside I didn't even know who he was But then I saw this documentary online I'm like oh I met that guy And I got pictures with him You know what I'm saying And then I found out who he was He was he was like the fourth beastie boy and this and that. And I was like, oh my God. And I was like, wow. And his story is so crazy. That inspired me even more. Just, you know what I'm saying? And just watching dudes like you, you know what I mean? With the interviews you do and, you know what I'm saying? Keeping hip hop alive. And all of that inspires me, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta keep it moving. Keep hip hop alive. Man. No so doubt, bro. What, um, what's a. An interesting fact about yourself that most people don't know. Interesting fact about myself that most people don't know is that um, uh, I got Tourette syndrome. So when you hear me walking by and I go, <coughs> yeah, it's probably because I got Tourette's. It's like a. It's like it a- don't got nothing to do with you. All right. <laughs> I have a friend that has kind of like a has like a tick where he like his body like twitches yeah. a little bit like that. Yeah. But it's not about Tourette's. It's not about like people just yelling curses and shit like that. It's just sometimes your nerves do things that you can't really control. Exactly. Right? Yeah. That's, that's a problem. That's a problem. I mean, I deal with um, anxiety issues, panic attacks, yeah. Tourette's, OCD. I got I got a whole a whole list of problems but so i deal with it you know what i mean like the, the, you gotta deal with it at the end of the day you gotta be strong you know what i mean that's crazy man well i appreciate you sharing that because not not a lot of people i feel would be that honest no doubt so that's super dope what else what's next um you know what do you want people to know um, um i'm working on a project called death of a critic um i got a lot of special artists on it special features i got thurston howell on a new song i got i got polo g mm. conway nice. mr hyde you know you know i'm still working with the greats fat joe i'm working on a project with fat joe you up. know what i mean um i'm just working on a lot of things you know what i'm saying remixes uh i got nems on my new album i got ill bill you know what i'm saying um I'm staying working, you know what I mean? <laughs> I stay working. But that's dope. You're working with Nems. Nems yeah. uh, just really is taking, uh, taking off with his Big yeah. Bong. Big yeah, Bong Nems, went yeah. Viral. Shout out he to He's doing him. his thing. Shout and out to Nems. And he just released the uh, remix with um, the Bing Bong remix with Styles P, um, Busta Rhymes, and... Uh, Fat Joe's on it? Fat Joe. There yeah. It is. So... That's a good look right there. It's shout like, out to Nems for that, man. Yeah, it's dope that you're in the mix like that, too. Word. Yeah, shout out to Nems. I mean, I, pe- I see people everywhere. People that aren't even hip-hop fans saying, like, Bing Bong. 
And I'm yeah. like, this is crazy. Uncle like, Murda, even down here. Uncle Murda's, Uncle Murda shouted him out too <laughs> on that um, 2022, uh, 2021 wrap. Yeah, with wrap um, up. Super dope, man. Well, I appreciate Think you. Thank you, Mukbang. Appreciate Yo, you coming out for this. Thank you for having me, yeah, brother. No doubt, man. Be shine all day. Look, Look out for Hectech. Tech. shining up there. Queens, it was supposed to rain, mm, but. No rain. You know what I mean? And we're still outside. Word. We outside. All right, peace, y'all. Peace.